Hype updated my tier list for squad busters for a good reason. We got some new units and I had to change some units like dynamite. So if you are curious about the rating of the new units and the changes, definitely stay tuned and watch this video until the end. And as that said, thank you everybody for being here again, really appreciate it. If someone else is new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for free to my channel. Right next of me, you already can see it and we for sure will start now with the rank D, C, B, A and towards the rank S, the best units. A little bit of a disclaimer, since this tier list is most likely based on my own opinion, from my playstyle and the opponent units I can see during a map, you might disagree with some of the things. If you have some suggestions, please write it down below in the comments. So we are starting right away with the D tier and we already can see there, ooh, there's a new unit and another unit ranked down. Yep, I had to rank down heavy. I don't know, but right now it's feeling not good at all. He's doing good damage, he's tanky, but neither being a good tank, neither being a good damage dealer. And on the other side, he is just developing his power over the time when he's shooting so that the speed increases and lately i don't know i was not feeling that boy because we have such a fast movement stopping fighting keep on moving and until then he's not even doing much damage that's why i'm not using him at all anymore and comparing him to the goblin and the chicken i'm definitely using heavy less than these two and we got there Dr. T. Dr. T might not be a D rank, might be more a C rank because it is an epic unit. But at the moment with this Mega Crab, it is kind of not really useful. The Mega Crab is too slow. Unless you have Baby Battle or Angry Vines, there are some circumstances where the Dr. T could be interesting. Um, but for all the other cases, I don't really like that unit. Um, yes, it's pretty tanky, the damage is not too good, but for me there's no really use case beside baby battle sometimes and angry vines to use that unit. On the C rank we can see two existing units being lower ranked, yep, it's the witch and Nita. Nita, I still tried the teddy bear a few times or I did even try it more often than in the past, but actually, I don't know, I, I can't even describe I am feeling that bad about Nita. The teddy bear, yes, but I don't know. For me, this is definitely not a good unit. We have so many better ones. That's why Nita is now at the C rank. And for the witch, that is more likely if I compare her to the other epic units. That is my second least pick for the epics right now. We have seen the guide on the royal uh, king, which I definitely like a lot. And I definitely prefer it over the witch because we can't control these skeletons, they are kind of squishy and that's why I prefer the definitely the Royal King with at least that spell I can throw at someone else. Coming now to the B rank, so that are already the good units which I'm definitely picking. They might not be my first choice, but I kind of like to play them. Even though some of them are harder to play, there's still the bow and actually from my personal feeling at the moment, I would rank that bow even towards a lower A tier rank. Yep, you will agree that it is, or you will say that it is not good, but Bo, you should try it out. Especially in those modifiers where we have more units spawning, like giant trees, goblins, everything where we have uh, added monsters. And if you have no farmers there, so no carrots, no trees, definitely Bo is useful to get early to the center and start the looting. And especially from the things I have um, seen in the squad league, it is very good to get those boss monsters kinda early and get ahead of the opponents and with that winning the late game as well. And one reason we can see now their Pam is because I'm not using her that much anymore because and that's not a cap. Even Crack as well as Mavis and Trader are in my opinion the little better healers because they can provide you um, during fighting with some heal either chopping a tree, the carrots or trader just converting the coins and from that perspective healers with their role as a healer are kind of useless at the moment in my opinion and that's why i've ranked now pam again a little bit lower and dynamite made it to b tier yes in my opinion he is not the worst unit we have had him in several games and especially in the late game when all guys have some bigger squads that aoe damage together with the ice wizard we will come back to them soon or with the normal wizard, guys, you can wipe those squads really decent. And that's why I kind of like to play him. And he is definitely, if there is no tank or 
Kenny. I'm picking him as a, a rare unit because the damage is pretty good and especially the combination with any other AoE damage is kind of massive. Hey guys, I don't want to fight everybody. And remember, we have a freaking dynamite. Oh my god, that was a huge fight. So I definitely can recommend you to try him out. Coming now to my favorite units, at the A and S tier. We can see there at the A tier all the three new units. So we got Bandit, Ice Wizard and Chessy. Why do you think I have rated them like that? Because in my opinion they are all really decent to use. In some situations they are even S tier, but not in all those modifiers that I would say we can get them to the S star. Because yes, a Chessy with these towers can kind of carry the game. But then there will be a point where you run out of the towers. That's why I'm not placing her into the S tier. While that double or that bounce of the bullet to cause damage to two guards, targets is really nice. Um, the same kind of for the Ice Wizard. We all know that Heavy Blast. But unlike he is a fusion unit, he is pretty squishy. And that's why he could die pretty often. And the single target damage farming ability is not too good. But... Also, the wizard is definitely the, the upper A tier. And the bandit can compete kind of with the trader, especially in those modifiers where you don't have a trader. She is not healing you, but she is causing significant single target damage. That's why you can kill her pretty fast with her DED monsters. And the additional gems did carry us in one or the other game. Not sure if I will remain her there in the A tier because, well, if we already got a trader, he can heal us. Then we can full focus on the other units building damage. And then I'm preferring definitely a tank or even a B. So I think it's all right for now to place those three new units into the A tier. And we're coming now to the S tier and I've added two units. Not because they are the best fighters, but more from their way how we can use them. Mavis is really, really strong. I got her now on four stars, so I'm slowly getting over from three to four stars. And that additional loot and the heal is so good that I consider her being definitely one of the best units yes she is not great in fighting but she will help you to grow your team really fast and with that having a good advantage of winning the match and for sure we got there the hawk rider and the hawk rider is the hawk rider it is my 90 percent 95 percent first choice whenever he pops off because speed is the key in the early game, you need speed to far faster than the opponents. In the later stage, you needed to hunt players or get faster to the objectives in the game, like the giant trees, um, any other thing which we have to attack. And that's why I think he deserves the S here. And well, I know that these two units are definitely not doing as much damage as the other three there. But from the full perspective of the game and from my personal feeling which units I am picking the most, they definitely deserve the S tier. So what are your thoughts on the new ranking here? Please write down below in the comment section your opinions because I want to see your, your opinion there. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. And I'm super excited for future updates, nerfs and buffs and for sure the new units. So don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with my current tier list.